The Federal University Gusu has confirmed that 42 persons, including students, staff, and construction workers, were abducted by armed bandits last Thursday. The acting vice chancellor of the university, Ahmad Galadima, says over 100 heavily armed bandits on motorcycles carried out the attack on Sebongida community. Yofilo Zarafai gives us the details. Female students of the Federal University Gusau were abducted by armed bandits last Thursday in a rented apartment in Sabangida, a community near the school. Since the incident occurred, the school authorities had not officially released the number of persons abducted. These had generated fear and confusion among parents and the general public. <laughs> the acting vice chancellor of the University, Ahmed Galadima, in an interview with TVC News, says 42 persons were abducted. The attack, he says, was carried out by over 100 armed bandits. 25 students were kidnapped. Then there was a university staff with his three nurses and two other students. So you see, this gives total students of about 30, and then one university staff, and then 10 construction workers, including their guardman, their watchman there. But about 16 had been recovered. The security agencies, through their tangible effort, were able to rescue about eight students, then about six also escaped, and then two other, two other construction workers were rescued. So this gives total of about 16. Professor Galadima believes students renting apartments in isolated areas and staying late at night in unsafe areas and highways had made it easy for bandits to abduct them. As a student, you live in an isolated settlement that is vulnerable areas that have history of Philippios kidnapping. Then you see you have made yourself vulnerable. You have made it very difficult for security agencies to be there to give you adequate security. So earlier, securities advised that students that are living in areas that are vulnerable shall make sure that they come to less vulnerable or unvulnerable areas. You see, the university has only one accommodation that can accommodate only 400 students. So even if you want to relocate students to, to university, you can relocate them to a place where there is no accommodation. The latest abduction of FUG student is the fourth this year. The last incident was in June, which prompted the student to embark on a peaceful protest, blocking the ever-busy Gusau Sokoto Highway for several hours. This development inevitably led to the expulsion of some students. Safe less that TVC News, Gusau.